I decided to take a breastfeeding class um, so we could be prepared um, and know what to expect. And the, the class we attended was at a hospital conference room and we walked into the room and there was baby dolls and artificial breasts with nipples on them and um, uh, pamphlets, you know, with information. And the instructor used the dolls, you know, to show us different positions, uh, how to hold the baby. There's the cradle and the football hold. And I was never really good at that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, she, of course, she showed us, uh, went, uh, went through all the benefits of, of breast milk. Um, the early breast milk is very rich in nutrients and antibodies to protect the baby. Um, breast milk provides perfect nutrition. It is a, a perfect food that cannot be duplicated. Breast milk changes as your baby grows. The mature milk has just the right amount of fat, sugar, water, and protein to help your baby to continue to grow. And it provides all the nutrients and antibodies the baby needs. For most uh, babies, especially premature, premature uh, babies, breast milk is easier to digest than formula. The proteins in formula are made from cow's milk, and it takes time for baby stomachs uh, to adjust to digestion. Um, breast milk is known to fight disease because of the cells, hormones, and antibodies <laughs> that protect the baby from illness. Some research shows that breast feeding can reduce the risk of type 1 diabetes, childhood leukemia, and also lower the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. And uh, the most impressive benefit, in my opinion, was the fact that studies show that infants fed breast milk show higher developmental scores as toddlers, and higher IQs as children than those not fed breast milk. So if you're pretty smart, um, you probably have your mother to thank for breastfeeding you. Um, and there's also benefits for the mother as well, not just for the child. Um, breastfeeding is linked um, to a lower risk of health problems in women, such as type 2 diabetes, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, postpartum depression, and many studies have reported greater weight loss after giving birth. And that's something that I experienced, uh, and that, that's real. You just lost weight really quick. Um, but then once you stop breastfeeding, the weight just comes back on. <laughs> yeah, it was fun for a while. <laughs> Breastfeeding, it, it saves money. Formula and feeding supplies can cost well over $1,500 each year. Um, breastfed babies are also sick less often, which can lower health costs. Um, <clears throat> now, the challenges in breastfeeding include things like uh, sore nipples, uh, low milk supply, or the breast can become engorged if they have too much milk in them. Uh, which would make them hard and painful. Um, also, nipples can be inverted, flat, or very large that can cause problems with producing milk. Um, now, breast milk can be contaminated by what the mother eats or drinks or smokes. Um, so, drinking things like drinking alcohol or caffeinated drinks or medication can affect the milk. Um, babies have actually overdosed because mothers were taking prescribed medication. And uh, they uh, also, mothers should not breastfeed while they drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually read the story. There was a woman in Ohio that um, she was reported. Uh, not only was she breastfeeding the baby while she was driving, but she was talking on her cell phone. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's moms. <laughs> I mean, that's, she be that's a serious <laughs> <contact> <laughs> Yeah, she was charged with child endangerment. So don't breastfeed and drive.
the greatest challenge for me was when it came to stop breastfeeding. Uh, the weaning process, it's supposed to be a positive experience for both of us, and it was really hard. I breastfed my son until he was almost three. And, um, but, you know, my husband really helped me out a lot. Uh, he played a very important role in the weaning process, and I know I could not have done it without his help and support. Um, which brings me to my, to my third point on how fathers are important to the process of breastfeeding. Um, just recently I came across a news story that featured a nonprofit organization to educate fathers about the importance of breastfeeding and, and, and it brings attention to the need to support women who choose to breastfeed. Um, the website featured the founder, he's a nonprofit, uh, well he's a photographer and he put, uh, photographs men with their children in breastfeeding positions with the phrase, if I could, I would, in, in the background of the photos. Uh, many men, they feel like they're left out of the breastfeeding process, so it's essential for fathers to educate themselves on the subject. Um, and I'm going to close with this. There's just a sample of one of the photographs that you took of the father and then this child. Um, breastfeeding was the greatest gift I could give to my son because of all, all of its health benefits and because of the close bond that we have, will have forever. Um, the benefits of breastfeeding outweigh the challenges and I highly recommend it for everyone. Um, and I just want to let me close with this quote, and this is from the a gentleman who, um, I kind of screwed it over. Uh, the gentleman's name is Hector Cruz. He's the photographer and he's the, the uh, gentleman, the father who created this um, website. And in his words, I think that's the quote I just want to conclude with, and he says, I started to educate myself in every way I knew possible and really began to see the importance of breastfeeding. My wife's breast went from being a sexual object to something far more beautiful. Her breast became a natural extension of herself to give my daughter the life-sustaining nutrients that she needed. My eyes were open and I saw breasts as what they really are, not the over-sexualized objects that we as a society have created. Thank you.